Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy, back with another episode of Amnesia Memories, Kent's Route. So, like I said last time, we are going to choose a co-worker told me we're love rivals now. Oh? Now that's a fairly interesting topic you've brought up. What kind of reaction do you want from me? You seem bored today, too. It doesn't appear that you have any interest in spending time with me. To top it all off, the topic you brought up was about your co-worker being your rival in love. So, what about it? Are you saying you want to introduce me to that other woman? I see. So, you have so little enthusiasm for dating me that you wouldn't even confront your co-worker about this issue. It must already be uncomfortable for you to be with me, and having a rival at work on my account would only increase that discomfort. I believe you're trying to hint that you wish to break up. Am I correct in making that assumption? No? Why would you assume that? Like, seriously? Are you saying I'm wrong? Then what was your intention? Were you just trying to make co idle conversation? You always immediately question my words in the same way. I'd like to compliment you for having a splendidly quick reaction time, but to be honest, you're simply acting childish. I'm often told I'm insensitive, but you're the same. Do you honestly think I'd enjoy a topic like that? My opinion hasn't changed from before. I believe it's most effi er, efficient for humans to have multiple relationships with the opposite sex over their lives. What? <laughs> However, that doesn't mean one should have multiple relationships at the same time. I neither have the desire nor the time for such a thing. I'm not even capable of sufficiently attending to you. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Of course, if one becomes tired of another, it's most efficient to immediately break up and move on to the next relationship, but I believe that it's still far too early to consider that. In other words, even if there is another woman who has an interest in me, that has absolutely no meaning at present. However, have you become tired of me? If that's the case, I can see some meaning in your previous statement. W wait a minute! What's going on? This is this an overreaction? You are just trying to make conversation! And he's talking about breaking up when you get tired! What does he mean? Or does that mean that he intends to break up with you when he gets tired of you? I'm gonna ask him that. You'll break up with me if you're tired of me? What are you saying? My beliefs haven't changed from before. We've argued over this many times. Have you forgotten? He said this before! Yeah, he said that his opinion didn't change earlier, too. I haven't become tired of you at present. I'm simply stating my beliefs. Ugh! What's with this guy? Seriously! If he kept saying things like this, it would only be natural for you to always be getting mad at him. Exactly! Wait. Huh? Huh? Uh-oh, memories! What? Your heart was broken by a person you admired. I see, but what about it? Listen, I'm neither a real teacher, nor am I your counselor. I was simply invited here as a mathematics lecturer for a short time, and unofficially at that. What kind of answer are you expecting coming to me for romantic advice? Ah, it's not advice but idle talk? I see. So you view your failure in love as an interesting an er, anecdote? In that case, you'll state my opinion. It's most efficient for living creatures to change the target of their affections one after another. It allows for a large number of emotional experiences, and breaking up when one becomes tired of another allows for a higher rate of producing a sizable offspring. 
Oh my god. In other words, your failed love is quite beneficial as a college experience. You should continue doing the same. Damn! <laughs> I'd like to hear your reasoning for this. What makes you believe that I deserve a slap from you? Yeah, you did deserve it, dude! You're a fucking asshole! Huh, getting dizzy again! What happened? Are you feeling dizzy again? Was your body always this weak? This isn't the same, or this isn't the time for an argument. Can you walk? I'll accompany you home. I'm still gonna yell at you as you walk me home, and I will fight you. <laughs> Elizabeth's probably like five foot four or five foot five or something like that. <laughs> and if she had my attitude, I would be like, I don't care if I'm only five four. I'll fight you. Put your dukes up. Huh, <laughs> you had a date today, but it was such an unpleasant conversation. But one of your memories did come back, so I guess it's not a total loss. Yeah, anyway, after seeing that memory today, we know two things. <laughs> the first is that Kent was going to your university as an unofficial math lecturer. I wonder if this is how you and Kent got to know each other, and what's an unofficial lecturer? The other thing is, is that Kent is an asshole! <laughs> it seems like you and Kent didn't get along even back then. Both of the memories that have come back seem to have, or seem to be f uh, fights with Kent. Sorry, blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> oh, but if you really didn't get along, you wouldn't talk about your failed relationships with him. Maybe that's what triggered the bitterness in your relationship. Yeah, probably. <laughs> the fact that he was heartless. Oh, excuse me. Regardless, there's no mistaking that Kent had an important place in your life. All of the memories coming back have been about Kent. Anyway, I think continuing to spend time with him will be the quickest route to recovery. Although, you kind of ended up parting on bad terms today. It's okay though, I'm sure this is just an everyday occurrence for you two. <laughs> It's likely that he'll call you over uh, to talk again tomorrow, just like on that first day. And watch, he doesn't. Whoa. Hi, that's a new screen. Huh. Interesting. August 8th. Whoa. Hi. Uh, here it is! The letter of challenge! Alright, bring it on! Let's see, received a new message. I wanted to talk with you, not argue. If you feel the same way, come by the cemetery. Cemetery? What? Uh, this isn't a challenge at all! Could Kent be feeling down after the fight yesterday? <laughs> he better. God, let's try going over. We'd like to have a talk without fighting, too. Heck yeah. Because that's what a healthy relationship is. You've come. What could he want to talk about? Let's take a little walk. We're walking again? <laughs> Me. <laughs> what do you think when we're walking like this? Why do you simply follow along quietly? Well, what are you thinking, Kent? Could you tell that I was trying to lead up to talking about myself? I suppose that means it's unavoidable. You see, there's something I think about when we walk like this. This path has a lot of couples. 
Why are they all holding hands while walking? For some reason, I want to hold your hand too, but no matter how I think about it, I can't find a reason to do so. Why is everyone holding hands? Is it a ritual to confirm one's affection? Is it just one step in increasing levels of physical contact? And what about in our case? I doubt you have any affection for me, and I think it's too early to increase our level of physical contact. In other words, there's no necessity for this action, and yet, I want to hold your hand. Why? W what do you mean, why? Elizabeth! Er, blah, blah, blah. Elizabeth, could this mean? He actually likes me! <laughs> I'm sure you would become angry if I suddenly grabbed your hand. No. <laughs> First off, no. <laughs> what reason could I give to explain this to you? Would you simply shake me off? To what? No. <laughs> and is it ever necessary to hold hands? Am I simply trying to conform with the couple surrounding us? Three, a uh, no. <laughs> If I can't find a logical reason, I can't accept it. But I like you, and I just... I want to feel your touch. When I walk next to you, I can't help but notice your hands, and that makes me walk faster. Oh, he blushed, too! Ah! <laughs> Maybe it was a little too fast for you to keep up. If so, I apologize. Your attitude towards me has changed since we began dating. You haven't snapped or spoken harshly to me. Thanks to that, the past week has gone by very smoothly for the two of us. I'd like this to continue if possible. However, I can't find a reason why your attitude changed. I don't know if I should try to move things forward. I've been thinking about these things during our walks. Do you have any other questions? Maybe we should hold hands. Is it really okay? Of course it is! Oh! <laughs> it's moments like these that make me want to just hug the characters no matter how much of an asshole they were! If you say it's okay, then we should do that. Oh, <laughs> oh cute! Ah! <laughs> Last night, I swallowed my pride and consulted EQ on this situation. Then, after laughing for quite some time, he simply said, Tell her what you told me just now. And you actually decided to hold my hand like this. So I suppose that means EQ was correct. If the results are correct, the reasoning that form the basis is also correct. <laughs> the method of induction. <laughs> look at that smug look on his face! Oh my god! <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> it may be best if I tell you more about what I'm thinking. Yes! Please! And it may be an incorrect assumption on my part, thinking that talking to you will always result in an argument. Do you want to hear more of my thoughts? I do. I see. Anyway, let's talk about yesterday. The matter of one of your friends possibly having feelings for me. I thought of several responses, but I really can't think of a way of saying it that's easier to understand than what I said yesterday. I can't understand why you would say something like that. It only sounded like you wanted to break up with me. However, we'll see no progress at this rate. That's why I'm thinking of saying what EQ told me to say. It doesn't matter who may have feelings for me. I love you, and those feelings won't change. Will you believe me? I was told this would happen if I said this, but did you understand what I'm trying to say? Like a 
actually starting to cry because of how sweet this is. <laughs> but knowing him, if I were to say, could you say it again, he wouldn't. He would be like, well, I don't see why there's a logical reason why I should unless you didn't hear me. But, <laughs> so I'm just going to say yes, thank you. I see. That's good. Let's go back. The wind's pretty cold today. Oh, my heart! Oh, no! <laughs> I can't do this! Oh, right. There's one more thing EQ told me to do. Apparently, the most appropriate action to take after, after a fight is giving a gift. I did some research, and it seems the best gift among couples are handmade items. I thought about it, but I couldn't come up with anything else, so I ended up making this. <laughs> is, is that a handmade math workbook? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> what a way to ruin the mood! <laughs> I don't have to worry about my poor little heart anymore after that! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, I've been hiding since the mood shifted, but after seeing something like this, well, I can't just sit by without saying anything! Your major is psychology, so statistical calculations are essential. But your ability to calculate is too low. I believe this will help. Solving even simple mathematical problems on a daily basis is like exercise for the brain. I'd like to recommend this method to you. What do you think? Uh, I'll just say thanks anyways. Cause, yeah. <laughs> Very well. Bring it over tomorrow. I'll check your answers. I'll be going now. I plan to be home tomorrow. I'd like it if you, or if you visited if possible. See you later. Oh, but that smile melts my heart. Don't do this to me. No. <laughs> wow, today's kid was really kind. It made me feel weird. It's seriously a handmade math workbook? Ugh, right. Kent was once your math teacher. Maybe that's why he was worried. <coughs> Sorry. It seems like the past he was even more prone to argument than Kent is now! It really is confusing when someone who was that argumentative starts talking normally all of a sudden. But still, it seems like Kent seriously likes you! I was surprised to see such a rational man turn all awkward and humble like he was just now! Me too! Oh, that was so sweet! <laughs> that fight yesterday must have really affected him. Even more so because you haven't started arguments with him lately. Your memories haven't really come back yet, but it seems like you'll be able to build on this relationship. <laughs> That's good! Wanna go visit Kent's house tomorrow for a change? Well, I think you'll be able to get closer to him now. Heck yeah! Oh, that's so sweet! Oh, his little earnest smile, though, melts my heart every time. I mean, he just used it, like, twice or three times now, but still! August 9th. And we're at Kent's house! Oh my. <laughs> Come in. Please make yourself at home. Is there something you'd like to talk about? <laughs> what? After yesterday, I started thinking that we should talk more, in order to improve our relationship. If you have any issues with my attitude or my actions, I'd like you to tell me. Amazing! He actually started a conversation! Okay, then maybe we should take him up on this offer and start asking him about things we want to know! Um... What do you think about studying abroad? Of course, I'm happy for the offer. It's a result of my research being well received, and this is an important chance to gain knowledge from abroad. It would increase my credibility as a researcher. In the long term, 
<clears throat> I believe my success would also become a benefit to you. I'm serious about dating you, and I'm looking uh, toward long-term developments in our relationship. Although I'm not sure how you feel. What? Long-term developments? Does that mean marriage? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, you seem like you can break up any day! Why is he making huge plans like that already? Okay, okay, <laughs> that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Oh my god, this episode was so freaking sweet. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Anyways, if you haven't already subscribed, by subscribing you are becoming part of a legacy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>